हेलो टू माई वंडरफुल यूट्यूब फैमिली वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लर्न आई टी योर गो टू चैनल फॉर ऑल सर्विस नाउ अपडेट्स सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल डोंट फॉर गेट टू हिट सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड टर्न ऑन द बेल आइकन सो यू नेवर मिस आउट ऑन लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स रिलेटेड टू सर्विस नाउ टूडे वी आर डाइविंग इन टू वन ऑफ द फीचर्स ऑफ सर्विस नाउ जियोरिक रिलीज राइट सो प्रीवियसली आई हैव शोन यू uh some of the features of zurich release today also i am sharing one of them whether you are an admin developer or architect this demo is just for you so let's not waste time and let's get into the action right now so all right right now i am logged into service now zurich instance and the feature which i want to to showcase you is about catalog browse component in ui builder so we have ui builder through which we design our pages service portal pages or modify the workspaces so there the introduction of catalog browse component has been introduced in service now in zurich release okay let's proceed further and see how we can utilize catalog browse component of ui builder so first i will do is what i will do is like i will search for ui builder and then i will click on ui builder we will wait till it opens and it take some time to open in personal developer instance and you will also feel the slowness of ui builder but once it is open it will work very smoothly all right right now you can see we have ui builder uh displayed in front of me and we have home recent experience page collection controllers preset and here there are the experience page collection and we can skip it as of now page collection controller preset here we have tutorial and many other things all right so we will now check what feature we are talking and what is the component catalog browse component how we can add it in our pages all right so i am trying to use this existing out of the box admin center where i am trying to i have added one of the page okay so this is the default page xyz default page and uh, i will click on editor and then we will see the editing options here and then i will show you how we can add catalog browse component okay now you can see this is the this is the page and now this is the body here we will add the content so now as soon as i will click on add content and here we will click on component all right and then i will click on search button and i will search for catalog browse so this is the catalog browse component so what catalog browse component will do explore and discover catalog items from various catalogs and the categories right so whole catalog browse of uh, functionality will be available to this page so i will show you once the changes is applied so let me add this first so now you can see in this page i have added the catalog browse component and now we can see the preview so now you can see the browse catalog has been added to this page and then you are able to see all the catalog item categories and if you select any categories you will find the catalog items with related to that these are next nested categories peripherals quick links can we help you departmental services business application life cycle management right we can save and continue to apply the changes like this okay and now let's see how it is displaying after saving the changes 
so now this is the real page where the changes has been applied so now here we can see the real changes which has been applied to admin center page so i have modified the out of the box one please don't do it for your system because it is provided out of the box if you want to create it create a new page for your custom pages all right and you can utilize this for existing workspaces or existing portals if you are creating it from ui builder all right so this way we will be utilizing catalog browse component in our uh, ui builder to configure to configure the workspaces portal or the various pages inside service now which talks about ui all right so yeah that's all about uh, this feature today and uh, there is a quick pro tip for upgrading the service now instance so if you are planning to upgrade make sure you test all the future uh, all the future release uh, future updates related to zurich in pre prod instances like uh, dev or test or sandbox wherever you are trying to test the latest version and then check whether everything is working fine and then try to uh, update the changes in production or try to schedule for production upgrade check whether sub prod instances are working fine after doing the upgrade then try to do the upgrade for production yeah so that's the uh, quick tip uh, for you all for upgrading the service now instance so that's wrap up our quick demo of one of the zurich release features next session we will be having look into the other feature of service now zurich release and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more hands on service now content until next time keep learning and keep building this is learn it with prashant signing off for today thank you for watching my video